What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So as you can tell, my voice is a lot better. It's not 100%, but I'm definitely feeling a lot better today than I was yesterday and the day before that. So um, I decided to make a video. For this video, I'm actually gonna go over the biggest mistakes that people make while investing in the stock market. And I see it all the time and it bothers me. Every time I see somebody do it, I'm just like, ah, I just cringe because of the fact that they shouldn't be doing these things, but they do it anyways. And I know one of these things is a form of greed, really, and you can't really help it, it's human nature, but we're gonna get into it. So before I start this video, please give this video a like. Also, if you can comment down below, hit that subscribe button and notification button so you never miss out on anything that I post. I said before I'm doing a giveaway of two Amazon gift cards when I reach my thousand subscriber mark, so definitely stay tuned for that. Just hit that subscribe button. So like I said before, I'm gonna go over the top five biggest mistakes that people make when investing in the stock market. And I see people do it all of the time. And I get questions on what they should do, how they should get started, and the way that they end up doing it is not the way that they should get started. So um, let's jump right into the video. The first big mistake that a lot of people do um, when investing in the stock market is they don't do any research. Um, they jump right into investing in the stock market without understanding what they're investing into. For example, you need to know the volatility of the stock. You also need to know if financial institutions hold a large portion of that stock. You need to know a lot of things when going into the stock market. You can't just go in blind. Anything that you go in blind to is just going to be torture on yourself and on your pockets. You might as well throw your wallet out the window or in a lake somewhere because that's pretty much where your money is going. Um, it's not going back in your pocket, I'll tell you that. So you need to really understand and do your research. They give all of these research tools on different investment um, brokerage accounts uh, for a reason and you need to use them. I use scanners all the time. I Just because I know how to invest doesn't mean that I don't use scanners and I don't do my research behind the stock and how it's actually moving. Yes, I trade most of my stocks intraday, but I do all of my research based on volatility. So I know how much they're moving, what their low, what their high is, what their 52 week high is, 52 week low is, you know, what their um, simple moving average is, things like that. And there's a lot of different things that you need to know. So do your research. The second mistake that I see people make is they invest all their money in the same stock. Um, you shouldn't ever do that. In my case, I invest a large portion because I'm trading intraday within 30 minutes most of the time. Sometimes it's you know the full day, but um, I invest a large portion into one stock just because I'm looking for the maximum return in that stock, but that's my strategy. But when you're just starting out, you should never do that. And that's my recommendation. Um, if you are physically just starting out with like $200, $300, um, make sure you invest it wisely. And I understand that that's a small amount and you can't really invest a lot into other areas. You have to pretty much do it into one stock, but don't invest everything. If you have thousands of dollars in your stock brokerage account, don't invest everything into one stock because then you have problems and one stock just drops dramatically and now all of your money is gone. The third thing that I see people do um, that is a huge mistake is they chase the stock. You never wanna chase the stock. I understand the mindset is to buy low and sell high, but if you're chasing it on the way up, it's never gonna work out for you. So just make sure you try and buy low um, and you know your entry point. This is why I say, it goes back to the first point, do your research. Because if you do your research on the stock, you'll know where it's gonna be um, or where it should be because the stock market's not predictable, but where it should be. And the same thing goes for people who are chasing the stock on the way down. Um, I would say that you stay away from shorting stocks. Um, if you're just starting out, I would say that you strictly just buy until you really understand, but definitely never chase a stock. And I've been caught in this in a couple of times um, when I first started out. And then even recently I've been caught in it just because I seen something trend up and I thought that it was gonna trend higher, but that didn't happen. So just don't chase a stock because it never goes in your favor. So the fourth mistake that I see people make is they're too stubborn. When they have a losing trade, they don't sell it. They hold on to it and say, you know what? This stock's reliable, it's gonna go up. That's not the mindset. You don't need to do that. Don't be stubborn, don't be greedy. Um, there's a lot of people that do this. I've done this recently just because it's, it's human nature, right? You want to gain the most out of it and you feel as though you are right. In every instance, you feel as though you are right. Accept that you're wrong 
and just take the loss because a small loss is definitely better than a big loss. Would you rather take a $20 loss or a $200 loss? I'd rather take the $20 loss, but a lot of people will let that grow to $200 and then they'll say, you know what, I'll hold it for another year. The time value of money, you're losing that money. So you're not gaining the inflation rate, you're losing the inflation rate dramatically. It, it's, don't do that, don't be stubborn. Sell your stocks when you know they're losing trades and set yourself a stop loss. This is something that I always do, but I still have the problem in not actually accepting my stop loss and just holding it a little bit longer. And then I end up taking a larger loss, which is probably double the amount I would have taken. So um, it, it never really works out. I mean, there's some times, one in a hundred times that it will work out, um, but just don't do it. Minimize the loss, go on to the next trade, live to fight another day. And the fifth and final mistake that a lot of new investors make is that they quit after one losing trade. I see a lot of people that invest in a stock and then they drop dramatically and they don't sell. They just keep letting it drop down. And when they do that, they have a huge loss and then they go, you know what, investing's not for me. You don't need to quit, you just need to understand and, and learn from your mistakes. That's what mistakes are for. You're not gonna jump right into investing and be a rock star. You have to learn from mistakes. And I've learned from plenty of mistakes. I've lost quite a bit of money. I've gained quite a bit of money. But you always want to find that way to offset it. Learn from your mistakes. Don't quit after the first loss because the future is in investing, especially your future is in investing. So if you can consistently gain two, three, four, five, six, eight percent every year um, on your money, then it's definitely worth it. You don't need to double your money. It's investing. This is something that could be on the side. It's not gonna be your main job. Now, if you are trying to make it your main job, then you do research just like if it's your main job. You're not gonna be a pro right away. It's just like if you go to school for business, you're gonna go and get your associate's degree. That took you two years. You go and get your bachelor's degree. That took you two more years. You know, And you're just adding on years and years and years of learning but you expect to go into the stock market and know everything. That's not realistic and don't expect that. So there you have it guys, that's my five biggest mistakes that new investors make. And even seasoned investors uh, still make some of these mistakes. The only thing that seasoned investors do better than new investors is they minimize the amount of these mistakes that they make. They may do one per three months or one per year and that makes them a profitable investor. So thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you can, hit that like button. Also, if you can comment down below um, and hit that subscribe button so that you never miss out on anything that I post. As I said before, I'm doing a giveaway, two Amazon gift cards when I reach my thousand subscriber mark. So definitely stay tuned for that. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and it's not gonna stop there. There's gonna be more giveaways after I reach other milestones. So stay tuned for that. Hit that subscribe button and you'll always be entered for all of the giveaways. So again, thank you for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later.